Uh, hello there, in this video I want to show how easy it is to use Backup Buddy to uh, migrate a site from one location to another. Uh, Backup Buddy is a commercial WordPress plugin that you can purchase from iThemes.com. Um, so in this case, I wanna, in this video I want to show you how um, I migrate a site from this location to this location. Uh, this wptest.dev is a website on my local host which is running on my computer and uh, the process is the same whether you have a site on the local host or on a web server uh, for example let's say Bluehost or Hostgator um, you can easily and use the same process to migrate um, to another location okay so the first thing is to go to the backend and install backup buddy plugin so I'm gonna go to plugins add new and click on upload and browse for the backupbuddy.zip file on my computer and click open then install it I'm gonna activate backup buddy okay so backup buddy is active and it's gonna add backup buddy menu item in the dashboard so I'm gonna go to backup buddy settings and uh, Alright, so uh, by default, uh, this should be set to uh, backup only the WordPress tables, that is those that have WP underscore prefix. Uh, I always um, make it a point to select all the tables in the database. And here you can exclude any uh, files or folders that you do not want to be backed up. Uh, so in WP content, under uploads, uh, you can see that there's a folder called backup buddy underscore backups I have already selected that and that's the reason why it, it came here okay so once uh, you have these two settings in place of course you can set uh, error notification recipient email uh, if you want and once you have those things you just go to backup and click on complete backup okay so while that backup is happening I'm gonna open the um, remote destinations in a new tab and I'm gonna add my FTP servers um, details so click on add new for FTP and destination name you can give something uh, server address enter in the password for the FTP user and you can enter a remote path so um, this remote path would be something like this uh, hi, uh, ha slash public underscore HTML slash demos slash WP test uh, how do you get it uh, it's very simple just log into your uh, server using the FTP client like FileZilla in this case I use um, transmit so go to the location where you want to migrate the site to that is copy the site to so in public underscore HTML that would be okay so that would be demos okay so you can see the path here you know slash public HTML demos and that's what I have entered here slash public HTML demos and inside that I wanna uh, have backup buddy create a new folder called WP test and restore the website over there uh, this WP test need not exist backup buddy is gonna create it for you even if it exists you can just give it there but just ensure that it is empty nothing is there in that folder if it exists migration URL I just leave it empty because I, I can you know, change it later uh, so just test the settings test successful add the destination say ok alright now let's go back to our backup and you can see that uh, the backup is done so 
just go to restore migrate and here when you just put your mouse over on the back depth zip file you can see uh, this a migrate to remote server option click on that and you select the FTP that uh, you added with your server information so I'm gonna migrate this to HTTP website setup pro.com slash demos slash WP test and click on begin migration so it's gonna take some time and upload the uh, zip file to the server and once that's done it's gonna show the wizard so now is a good time to uh, get hold of your cPanel password so let me do that alright so th the uploading is done so I'm gonna click on next step and it's gonna unzip the um, files and next step go to next step okay just ensure that the URL to which uh, you are uh, moving the site or let's say migrating a copy of the site to is correct so that is correct and here either you can go ahead and open up your cPanel and create the database and enter that info or have backup buddy do the magic for you so just enter in your cPanel credentials and enter in your desired uh, database name so that could be say WP test and I'm gonna create a new user with the same uh, WP test as the username and I'll just leave the whatever it has suggested for the password as it is and click on create database alright so that's done click on OK so here you can uh, change the prefix which is a good idea just make it something unique other than WP it could be say WPT in my case so I'm gonna click on test the database settings everything has passed which is good so go to next step okay initial database import complete so click on next step So here it gives us the option to delete um, the import body temporary files. So just go ahead and click on that blue button. And it's gonna it threw up some um, warnings, but you can just ignore them and just go check out the website. Uh, and at this time, it's a good thing uh, to go inside your websites directory the destination and ensure that there is no import body directory if it is there just delete it okay it's not there but in some cases I've noticed that uh, import body uh, directory is just left uh, so you, you should delete it okay so I've got the copy of the website here just click on any link and ensure that there is no 404 and that's it we are done that's how easy it is to use backup buddy to um, take a copy of a website and put it at another location thank you bye